Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. I don't know what day I'm uploading this, but welcome to my channel. Merry Christmas if you guys are watching this on Christmas. But um, I am so excited to film today's video just because um, I did treat myself to quite a few things and I also got some really great gifts, which I'm really, really grateful for. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I got were these two Alex and Ani bracelets. So this one... This one is in the letter J. I actually have one that's in the letter T and I mixed it up. Um, I didn't know what letter it was, so I ended up getting the T, but my aunt got me the J. And then I have the Swarovski stone for my birth, for my birth year, which I thought was, or no, for my birth month, which I thought was super, super personalized. And I absolutely love that little feature. Like, I just think it's so cute and I am super, super grateful. So thank you, Flor, if you are watching this. I know you're not, but um, she is just, I... I, oh, that just made me so happy. Like, I love my birthstone so much. I've wanted to get a necklace in it for quite some time, but I thought this was just like the perfect, perfect little touch. Luna is playing with a few of her little balls, so if you guys hear some noise in the background, that's what it is. And then I'll show you guys what my parents got me. So they got me a pair of Uggs. I wanted the um, longer ones, and my mom was trying to find them for me, but she said she couldn't. So we uh, she ended up going with these with the shorter ones which I think are cute as well um, they just keep a little less of your leg warm but I think it's super cute I think it would be cute with like socks um, kind of showing through and this is just what they look like super fluffy and soft I cannot wait to wear them this is definitely a pair of shoes that I would probably keep at home at my mom's house because because it's not really that cold in LA and it never gets that cold or maybe I can just wear this with like PJs or something but yeah, I love them. They're super cute. I was so, so excited when I opened this. I, I don't know what I thought my parents got me, but I was just so excited to open this and I'm so grateful. Um, I'm so grateful. Like, this is just, I love these. I love these boots so much. And then you guys did see my unboxing on this bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 Bandolier and this is what my boyfriend got me for Christmas which I'm so grateful for. Some people did ask me what I got him for Christmas and I actually got him flights the Super Bowl because he does want to go and I just feel like it is a lot of money. It's like $3,000 or something like that. So um, it is a little bit more than this bag and I know that some people thought like oh I didn't get him anything and stuff like that but I mean if you watch my vlogs and you will know and you will probably see that. But yeah so he got me this beautiful bag I'm so grateful for it and I did end up keeping it um, I want to get maybe an organizer for it this bag does keep its shape but I feel like having an organizer would just make it a lot more organized but yeah I really love it and I'm so happy to have it I just needed something bigger for the longest time well since September so I've been wanting a bigger bag for quite some time and I'm really happy that I have this um, so yeah, you can wear it two, three ways. You can wear it top handle, crossbody, or just over the shoulder. And I've been wearing it over the shoulder a lot just because I really like the way that that looks. And then um, my CA from Louis Vuitton actually got me this luggage tag, which I'm so, so in love with. This is the Damia Yvain, um luggage tag, and I am so, so happy to have it. Uh, she did gift it to me, so I'm really grateful for that. And yeah, it's super cute. It looks amazing on my Speedy. I love it. Um, I think it would look super cute on my Alma, but I feel like my Alma is a little too small to have this on. So I think that this is just perfect and I can't wait to get it hot stamped. I really want to go to Hawaii next year. So that is a destination that I'm thinking about. So hopefully we do end up going and yeah, I want to get it hot stamped there. And if not, then I would probably just get like a J and then a heart on it. So yeah, I'm super happy that I have this. I love it so much. The first item that I got for myself were these leggings. These are from Fabletics and they do retail for $65 a piece. Um, I really love them. I'm not on their VIP line and I used to always make like a new account, but I was just like, you know what, I'll just pay for whatever the leggings cost. Um, because I do really love them that much. I have about five pairs right now, but I find that it's just not enough. I always like put a pair on in the morning, I'll run my errands, and then I'll come home, I'll do some spinning, and then I'll change, and then I'll want to put on another pair. So they're just that comfortable, and I really, really love them. I highly recommend them if you guys are looking for some new leggings. Um, I personally have... Um, I'll sit for the back. Um, I've never really tried Lululemon leggings and I've never gone into it just because spending $100 on leggings uh, makes me want to gag, but um, maybe one day I'll try it out. It's just, that's a lot of money for leggings. Like I know some people, I know Haleana Ray, she actually wears nothing but Lululemon leggings and they're like $100 a piece. So like, I just, I find it, I find it absurd a little bit, just a little bit. The next item that I got for myself was this Chloe perfume. 
This is the uh, 2.5 fluid ounce and it's the Eau de Parfum. And this is what it looks like. This is my everyday scent. It's so beautiful. Do you see this packaging? It's just in like this glass bottle with like silver trimming and then it has a little bow on it. Um, and then the top is just like that and then you spray it on. I've never had a bottle this big. I've only had the 1.7 and then the one fluid ounce because I just never really bit the bullet and bought it, you know, but um, I had a lot of points from Ulta and I also had a 20% off fragrance and then it was also five times points on fragrance. So I decided to just go ahead and get it. And then you also got like a blanket, a free blanket with it. So I thought oh, that was a super good deal. I got this for about $83 with tax and everything. So that was a really, really good, really, really good deal considering that this retails for $132. Um, here in the States. So yeah, I love this perfume so much. This was definitely the time for me to buy another one because I am running out of mine and it's so sad. <laughs> Every time I need to purchase one of these, I just like die a little bit, but it's fine. So yeah, I got that and I absolutely love it. The next item that I did purchase for myself was the Louis Vuitton luggage tag in the Vachetta leather and this is the untreated leather and I'm really, really happy that I have this because I can't wait to get a hot stamped. Um, this one will go on the next item that you guys will see in a minute. Um, I wanted to do, I did do like a whole unboxing video but I figured I would just go ahead and include it in here just because, I don't know, maybe I'll still upload that separately but I just find it like kind of stupid to like upload the same video separately like showing what I got. Yeah, I was really happy that I got this. This one was sixty dollars, so I did have to pay. I did have to pay for this one, but the um, one in the treated leather, I didn't. That one was a gift. So yeah, I got this for myself. So I'm really happy about that. The next item that I got for myself, I think you guys are going to love this because I I love this print. This is the Dami Bean cosmetic pouch in PM. I think it's PM, and this one is so beautiful. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it so pretty and um i'll do a color comparison or canvas comparison whatever uh to my speedy so the color does look different i don't know if you guys can tell also i did want to mention all of my louis vuitton pieces are authentic um i don't have any fake items i don't believe in buying fakes and i just feel like um you know that's really cheating the market but then again it's like do you really want to continue to purchase from a brand that's easily replicated and you know not unique anymore I don't I don't really know I don't really know honestly I'm like kind of torn in between it but um yeah I did get this dummy a bean um, cosmetic pouch because I thought that it would fit perfect in my speedy which it will it'll take up a little bit of room but um, it'll still fit nicely so yeah this is what the inside looks like and then you have the made in France right in there the date code is also on the inside so yeah and then along with the textile cards so um, yeah I thought that this was super cute I actually might end up using this for cosmetics actually um, yeah for traveling or something I think that this would be perfect for like lip masks eye masks um, I don't think a face mask would fit in here but yeah I think this would just be really good for like a little knickknack catch-all um, little bag so I love that and then I wanted to show you guys this item I'm gonna leave the big one for last actually so this one is I don't know if you guys can already tell what it is but it is the pochette karigami so I did buy this for myself and I got this because I was like oh this would be a perfect um, iPad case and then I was like wait I don't even have an iPad and I was like okay so now I have to buy an iPad so um, I actually this is one item that I don't really know if I'm gonna keep but just because there are a lot of wrinkling right here and then the um, the tab is pretty tarnished and I didn't really look at it I just felt really pressured by the CA to buy it because I was getting a Sienna PM from my mom my dad actually had me buy it and then he ended up paying me back but um, yeah, I just felt really pressured and it was like a little bit uncomfortable so I just ended up getting it. Like all of the little tabs have tarnish on them. Um, I don't know if I can show you guys, but do you see that? It's not like completely like clear and this was on display so I don't know. It was just like, I, I just hate when they do that, like when they pressure you and stuff and you're like, no, no, no. And I mean, some people it works, but for me, like, it just doesn't, doesn't really work. I just feel guilty in the end. And then the, um, the smallest one actually doesn't have a lot of tarnish on it. So I thought that, so I do like the little one, but I just feel like 
I just feel like, you know, it's just, it's just a little tiny one and I don't really have business cards. So yeah, but I do think this is a pretty, like pretty cool set. I just never find myself like wanting to grab a monogram clutch just because I feel like monogram is so, I just feel like it's so like, you know, casual. I mean, you could put like a little a chain I suppose you could put a chain and then just wear it like that which uh, this is probably something that I will have to think about for a little bit and see whether or not I can incorporate it into my lifestyle whether I am you know wanting to reach for this or whether I'm wanting to reach for the cosmetic pouch so I don't really know yet I really want to wait and see uh, this would be really good for traveling because you can fit your passports in here you can fit your fa your face masks in here but I really would love this just in new condition um, just because like I said it is a lot of wrinkling and I just feel like you know this was just touched by so many people and it just makes me a little bit uncomfortable and I know some of you guys are gonna say like well you shouldn't have purchased it or you shouldn't have even you know given in and stuff but it's just hard like when you're in the store like it's really hard especially when you don't have like a super super great bond with the CA it's a little bit difficult for me so yeah but I did end up purchasing it and I just like I said I don't really I'm not really sure if I will end up keeping this particular item or not because I didn't really plan on treating myself to this in all honesty so we'll see and then um, the last item that I have to show you guys is actually this huge bag so I'm gonna actually change the batteries my camera and I'll show you guys I am back sorry if the audio changed a little bit and if the um, lighting looks a little bit different but as you guys can tell from this humongous bag, um, this is a Louis Vuitton Neverfull, and I did buy this for myself quite some, I bought it maybe, I wanna say a month ago. So this is what it looks like. This is the Neverfull GM, so let me step back so you guys can see it. In all of its glory, it is humongous, and I absolutely love it. I do not know if I'm gonna keep this item. Like I said, I did get this actually uh, from a reseller. They sold the pochette and the bag separately. This bag is authenticated. I took it into Louis Vuitton just to see, um, you know, I wanted to get an idea of like the hot stamping and everything. So I did go in and I asked them like, oh, like, could I hot stamp this? And they said, yeah, of course. They took it to the back and then they brought it back out and they said, what would you like on it? So I think that was their way of taking it to the back and making sure it was authentic and then bringing it back out. Um, this one is made in the USA. I got it from a reseller just because I didn't like the pochette that came with it and I didn't want it. I do go more into detail about um, the bag and why I decided to buy it the way that I did um, in my never full unboxing. So you guys will see that after, but here you guys can see the bag obviously. But yeah, I really love it. I think it's super pretty. I just, I don't know how I feel about bags that are easily replicated. You know what I mean? I really prefer the Dami Ibin bags just because that is my favorite print and it is Louis Vuitton's first and original print um, of canvas. I just... So like I was saying, I do really love the Dami Ibin bags, but I have seen, um, I've looked on YouTube at like videos of the replicated ones and the authentic ones, and I mean there are some that like you literally can't tell. So like, it goes again to my point where do you still want to continue, continue buying from a brand that's easily replicated to a T, literally to a T, like a mirrored replica so I really really love Louis Vuitton I love their prints and everything and I mean it's one of it's my favorite fashion house just because I feel like I've tried purchasing from Chanel before I wanted to do well from there but their their um, sales associate actually in the stores were just so rude and I just couldn't <laughs> I couldn't bear to have to deal with that and this was on Rodeo Drive so Hopefully I will have a better experience if I do end up going back, but um, for now I think that Louis Vuitton definitely is the one that takes the cake for me, um, just because all of the locations that I've gone to, they have been amazing, and I actually even got champagne at one of them, so I was really, really happy about that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this bag, if you guys would end up keeping it. I mean, I know that, you know, it is my bag, and it is authentic, so it's not like I'm walking around with like a fake or anything, but just the thought of, you know, having a bag that is easily replicated and it's like do like I just like don't know if I should care about things like that but I honestly do so yeah it's just like hard and I did get the Vaquetta um where is it I did get the Vaquetta uh luggage tag so I do want to try and you know I don't know I just feel like I would really really like it 
and that's what it looks like. It's so tiny, I should probably get the bigger one. Yeah, I might get the bigger one. I might get the bigger one for this bag. Yeah, I just feel like I'm a little nervous to use it, and also I just, with the whole like authentic replica thing, um, I know that I should be happy that I have one, but I don't know. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Um, I know that I always have a lot of things to say when I do like unboxings and stuff and like bag reveals or whatever, but um, yeah, that's just, it's just my thought process. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. That is everything that I got for Christmas and that is everything that I got myself. Um, I don't think that I got anything else. I also did have to repurchase my contacts. So that was like a little treat in itself because my contacts are so expensive because they are dailies. So that hurt a little bit. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you guys think about the pieces that I got. Let me know how you would use the pochette kirigami. I have seen some videos, but honestly, I don't really find them helpful just because it kind of just feels like they're envelopes and you're just stuffing envelopes. Um, I know that the big one would be really good for an iPad, but I mean, that's essentially the only one that I would probably use. So I mean, the other two is just kind of like a waste and I don't want to pay $660 and then some, and Santa Monica tax, because Santa Monica tax is so expensive to just have one little piece, you know? I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. I honestly, I don't think that I'm gonna keep the Kirigami set. It's just not something that I was looking for, and like I said, I did feel pressured to get it, but the cosmetic patch is definitely something that I was like really interested in, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll get this, and I was really excited when I got it, but when I got the Kirigami, I just kind of felt like, oh, okay, you know, whatever, just like throw it in the bag. Um, but yeah, so that's the story behind those things. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long for you. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the holidays with your family, whether you celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, Christmas, whatever it is. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And um, I love you so, so much. Happy holidays. I hope that you guys have the rest of an amazing 2018. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.